today I'm gonna to go over my top tips for new Etsy sellers. I started my shop last year in 2019 and since then I've made 300 sales and my revenue last year was $500. This year it's already on track to be way more than that. So I'm pretty excited about how Etsy is going for me and a lot of people who watch my online income reports have asked me to share some of my tips on starting and growing a new Etsy shop. My first tip on starting an Etsy shop is to pick your niche and to narrow it down to a very, very specific area. For me, that is debt payoff trackers and budgeting printables. I only do printables right now. I have thought about varying into other items, but for now I'm trying to master one thing and one thing only. So if you're thinking of doing cash envelopes, I would stick to cash envelopes only and be known as the cash envelope person. You could do printable cash envelopes. You can do cash envelopes that you make and sell. You can do cash envelope trackers. You can do everything around cash envelopes. Or if you are trying to make crochet patterns, I would just do crochet patterns. You can do patterns for clothing, for hats, for gloves. You can stick to one thing and be well known for that. This really, really helps when you're starting a new shop because if you're all over the place, people won't remember what you're known for. And once you develop a reputation of being known for one thing, then you can branch out. It's kind of like a regular business, like Starbucks. They started with coffee. They made their name on coffee and coffee alone. No one really goes there for food. They go there for coffee. Sure, they sell food now and they sell other things besides coffee, but that one thing that they started with and dominated that's what they're known for and that's where their business grew. The same thing applies on Etsy. So being known for one thing or like a group of things in your niche is really, really, really helpful when you're starting out because Etsy is a very saturated platform. There are people and huge shops that have been on there for like 10 years that sell thousands and thousands and thousands of things and have thousands of listings. It's kind of crazy. So if you don't want to get lost in that huge melee of sellers and products, be known for one thing. My next tip is to be different. So don't copy someone that's already out there because you're just going to be a budget version of something that's already working. And honestly, being a copycat doesn't get you as far as being original and being creative and unique. So if you want to do something that already exists, you need to have your own spin on it. For me, that's just my style and the way that I do these. A ton of people do trackers and stuff like that and budgeting printables, but I have a very specific design style and I stick with that and I'm true to that. And that has really honestly been my differentiator. Sticking to one thing, but doing it in my unique style has been really helpful. There are people already copying things that I make, but they're not doing as well because they're not the ones that came up with the idea. But honestly, they're never gonna do as well because when you copy a shop, you're just doing what they're doing, but they're already established and they're already doing well. So if you're trying to make your name on being a copycat, it's just not gonna work out. You have to have something that makes you different and makes someone want to buy your thing over the other shop. If you're just copying someone and lowering the price, one, that's kind of shady, and two, you're never gonna be the success that you wanna be on Etsy or on any platform if you don't have your own unique ideas and products and have a thing that differentiates you in that niche. So once you've narrowed down what you're gonna sell and how you're different from what's already out there, the next thing is to actually get sales. This can be the hardest part of starting a new Etsy shop because it is so hard to get sales in the beginning. Once you start building sales and getting reviews, it is so much easier to sell more because you have that built in trust factor when people come to your page. They know that other people have bought your products and that they love them and it's easier to make that sale because you have visible trust factors. But when you're new, it is totally different game. It is very hard to get those first sales, especially from strangers. And that might be from people that you know in real life. It might be from your partner. It might be from your friends. It might be from people that you meet in online groups that are also starting Etsy shops. There are a lot of different ways to get those first sales, but relying on just being found and being trusted by strangers can make it a lot slower. So I recommend 
finding someone in your real life that can actually buy the product and give you a fair review so that you have something up there that shows that it's a real product and you have people that are buying it and you are trustworthy. Do not pay anyone for reviews and do not do anything that is against the Etsy terms of service, but it's okay to promote your shop and tell people that you need sales and hope that they buy them from you. People in your real life that love you are going to be able to start your shop and give it a little kickoff and that will help bring in other people that you don't know as well and that you don't know at all. My next tip is to focus on promotion once you have five to 10 products. Once you have a set amount of products that you feel like you're not selling just one thing, but you have a grouping or even a section of products, I would start promoting early on. Don't wait until you have everything that you've ever thought of creating. Once you have five to 10, I think that's a good number. A lot of shops will recommend you have 100 before you really start growing but you need to start promoting before you get a hundred listings because otherwise you're never going to get sales and you're going to be churning out products that no one's buying. So focus on promoting your stuff early on. That might include making Pinterest pins, referring back to your products. It might be focusing on your SEO so that you're showing up in search. I get about half of my traffic from search, not from people that know my YouTube channel. So my SEO has really brought in about half of my traffic, both on Etsy search and Google search. So do a little investment in your education on SEO if you don't know about that yet, and then focus on that. I also highly recommend sharing it on social media. If you don't have an account just for your Etsy shop, share it on your personal channels. Make people aware that you have a shop. A lot of people that are in your real life probably want to support you and they will if they know about it, but not everyone's going to know about it and they definitely won't know about it if you never promote it. You don't have to go overboard to do this, but you do have to actually sometimes mention, hey, I have an Etsy shop. This is what I'm selling or hey, this is a product that I created. I'm really proud of it. Check it out. It's okay to be proud of what you've made and what you've accomplished. Another tip, if you start seeing people adding stuff to their carts, it will show you on Etsy, you'll see under your listing, 20 people have this in their cart. Amazing! You can set up things in Etsy that are marketing campaigns and emails to get people to actually go through with the purchase. The great thing about using Etsy is that they have a lot of this built in. You don't have to start from scratch with marketing emails because they can walk you through setting up several, like trying it out. You can send a coupon to someone and let them know that, hey, this is in your cart. You wanna purchase, here's a coupon. And that can get you some sales faster. You can also do thank you coupons. You can do all sorts of things for getting more sales just by setting up marketing campaigns in Etsy that will automatically go to people that have your stuff favorited in their carts. Any way someone's interacting with your shop, Etsy has a way to encourage or nudge them into making a purchase. So make sure you go through the marketing tab in your Etsy shop and set up some of these campaigns. These campaigns will help you make the most of the interaction that you're already getting on Etsy in your shop. And my final tip is to keep on growing. This is my current phase of Etsy. I am not a top seller. I am not a full-time Etsy seller. I am only making a couple hundred dollars a month, but that is a couple hundred dollars a month that I was not making before I started Etsy, which is amazing for a side hustle. And I'm really glad I started, but right now I'm still growing. And that is something I recommend to all new sellers on Etsy. Keep growing. You're not gonna just put up five items and be done and make a million dollars. It just doesn't work that way on Etsy or really any platform. So keep growing, keep creating new products, keep refining your shop, refining your brand around your shop, keep working on your SEO, keep working on growing your social media, keep adding new photos. There's so many things to do on Etsy and keep adding new listings. My friend Sharon, she has a great YouTube channel and makes a lot of money on Etsy in a very passive income way. I will link her channel down below. She recommends having 100 items in your shop and this is where your shop will kind of take off and keep growing and multiplying. So that's the goal that I'm personally working for. 
keep growing and keep adding because that will get us where we want to go with Etsy. So those are my top tips for new sellers. If you're thinking of starting an Etsy shop, I have a video on that. So check it out next and make sure you, when you open your Etsy shop, you're doing all of these things and I know you will be successful. Now watch these videos on Etsy and how to create and grow your own shop.